Hey guys, and welcome to today's new video. I legit have a full bag of Lancome lipstick, and we're gonna swatch them and just have fun and try them all on because I'm excited about it. I really needed new lipstick, and my sister bought me a ton for Christmas, and I'm so excited to just get in and swatch them for you, and yeah, so let's do this. I'm gonna try to try as many on as possible, but my lips might get a little dry and crusty and stuff, so maybe I'll swatch here and then pick out my favorite colors and swatch, or maybe we'll just go for the whole shebang. They come in this kind of silver packaging. It's pretty and it's kind of raised, and we're just gonna get to swatching them. I'm just gonna take them all out of these packages because it doesn't really say too much or do too much, so who cares about that, right? Okay, anyway, so this color, is really pretty and it is called cream lace this color is really beautiful it's called cream lace and it has this beautiful gold shimmer in this as well as having that beautiful beautiful natural pink undertone and i'm gonna go ahead and throw this on just to show you guys what this looks like and i have a makeup wipe here so i'll take everything off It's very subtle, but gives your lips some life. And I really love the shimmers in there. It's just this really beautiful shimmer in there and it looks really natural. Um, the only thing I will say is about the shimmers. If you do have some dry lips going on, it does show a little bit of your texture, but it's not that bad. Like I have a really bad dry spot right here, but all shimmers do that. So just be aware of that when you're wearing shimmer lipsticks in general. But this is a really beautiful color, really natural, very, just very beautiful. I really like it. And it's very expensive looking. I also really like this packaging too. Um, it has some flowers on this side and it says Lancome. Really pretty. And then if you just open that up, it's this gold. It's really nice. Really nice, it looks expensive, I like it. So that again was cream lace and I'm going to swatch that right here as well and we're just gonna leave the sleeve rolled up because why not? And I'll put this shade closer like right here. That was cream lace. I'll show you the swatch. It's pretty. And I'm just gonna wipe this off now. My lips are definitely gonna get dry. Sorry if they get a little red too, you know? So this is a Sun Baked Coral Gloss. And wow, that is such a pretty color. Like, so pretty. And this again has that shimmery shine in it. And this is really beautiful packaging. Like, I love that. Looks super expensive. And you can tell it is a coral color from here. Again, this color is called what is this called? This is called Sun Baked Coral. And I'm just going to put that on my lips just with this. Ooh, pretty applicator too. Um, let me see if we can show you guys that. Yeah, it's like, see how it's like a V? Those are always really nice to really, ooh, it feels nice on the lips. Wow. Okay, so that is super pretty. That is like angelic pretty. It's pretty just to, I love gloss. Gloss is like my thing. Love lip gloss so much. This just looks great like for the spring and the summer. If you're just trying to brighten up your look, I really like this color. It's really beautiful and it's sheer. So you can do that like no makeup makeup look really beautifully with this or you could layer it on top of something. And it has shimmers in it, but it's not overly shimmery. And I'm gonna swatch this for you right and next to the last one right here. And so you can see that. And again, that was Sun Baked Coral. This next shade is called, oop, let me take this off first. <laughs> 
This next shade is called Tempt Me and different packaging, but again, really like it. Really silver, metallic-y. And this is a little deeper than the first shade, which was Cream Lace. This is more mauve looking. And I really like it. It has more of a deeper undertone. So it should give you a little bit more glitz and glam than the other. And this actually has silver little shimmeries in this. So let's go for it. Very nice, very similar to that original fur shade. Uh, it is definitely deeper. It's a little more cool tone in color and the silver ship glitters really help with that as well. I do really like it. I think it's a really beautiful shade. And I'm gonna swatch this right here. Again, this one was called Tempt Me. We're gonna swatch this right here. And Tempt me. All right, so we have yet another one of these lip glosses, and this shade is called, what? All right, we have a little edit here. So this one, they were in the wrong packages. I did use these before. This one is actually called Sun Baked Coral which you can see here. And <laughs> this brighter one is called Hibis Kiss. I don't know, I guess that's some sort of flower. Little edit, this one's actually called Hibis Kiss. And then this one is called Some Baked Coral. So we're gonna actually try Some Baked Coral now. And this one I really, really think is super beautiful. Oh my gosh. Again, same applicator as before, really like that. Oh my God. Okay, I have a, I'm like a sucker for like gold shimmers and just gold in general, as you can see. Um, it's my color. I like it better than silver. And wow, this is just stunning. If you're a glitter whore like me, you're gonna love this. Um, yeah, wow. Oh, this is really, wow. That's gorgeous. And I will swatch it right here for you. There's like nothing else to say besides that is super gorgeous. I love the gold flecks in this and it's sheer, but you still see all the gold flecks and it's really nice. I hope you can see that. It's really beautiful. All right, taking off that gloss, even though I don't want to. That's my fave so far. That would look really pretty layered on top of a, gloss, a lipstick. That's probably what I'll finish with. I really like that. I was really into that. Okay, now a lipstick, and this one is called Glitz and Glam. Yes, okay, oh my God. Isn't that the most beautiful lip color ever? Sorry, I had to wait for it to focus. But this, oh my God. Wow. Okay, maybe this topped with the one I just had. Okay, that is a beautiful shade. Like, I love how pigmented it is. I love the sheen and shimmer. My sister definitely knows me very well and knows I love glitter. So I'm really digging that. I love the bronzy look, very nice. Bronzy and gold. I'm gonna put this right here, swatch this. So you could see that. And I'm actually going to right now just top this with a little bit of this sun-baked coral because I think that'll look really stunning. And it does look stunning. <laughs> wow. That's like a match made in heaven. Look how expensive it looks. I love that. Ah. <laughs> okay. I'm such a nerd. <laughs> Okay, now I'm taking all this off again. Oh my God, my poor lips. If you see me this week, like in real life and you're like, oh my God, she looks like a crust ball. This is why. 
because I decided to film a lift video in the middle of the winter. Now this next one is called Rekindle and it is bright. It's not red, it's like a corally pink almost. So here we go. This is the first one that is not a shimmer shade. Wow. <laughs> wow. You know, I do really like it. It is fun. It's definitely a true coral, like a pinky coral, and I think it looks really nice on my skin tone. I like it. I think it's really fun. It's definitely a spring, more pushing summer color. I don't know if I would wear this now, um, but I do really like this color. I think it's beautiful, and I will swatch it right here for you. And that's it right on the end there. And that's called Rekindle. I like it. And honestly, look at this topper. This is that Hibis Kiss color. I'm gonna like top that right now with it. And that is a match made in heaven too. Like, so pretty. Okay. Digging. It's a lot. Now time to take it off. I don't really want to. It makes me feel like paradise. And she takes it off. I have to say these come off pretty easily and they're not like a long wear lipstick guys. So they're like a standard normal lipstick, which to be honest with you, I tend to like better. Um, I think those like 24 hour lipsticks and stuff just make your lips look so dry and crusty. I don't know. I've never really found like one that I really dig. I've tried like all the Kylie cosmetic ones and I don't know, I'm just not that into it. This next shade is called It Girl. It Girl. And this is a very, very um, pinky, nudey shade. It's more nude than the other pinks and it does have a little bit of a gold shimmer in it. So let's give it a try. I really like that too. I think a little bit of that really bright color is coming through because this is like definitely a more nudie pink with gold in it. And I think this color would look like super amazing with a really dark smoky eye, like almost like a black smoky eye with like gold glitter. Oh my God. I think that would be stunning and I wanna try it. Um, I'm gonna swatch this right here. Yeah, you can see next to that shade, it's like it's not that like compared to the shade. And I feel like it's lighter than this one and this one. But I, it's pretty, right? It's pretty, I like it. I like it a lot. That's it, girl. I have this little juicy tube thing here. This kind of reminds me of the Burt's Bees lip glosses. So I'm just gonna swipe that off and put that on and see what that looks like. <laughs> my lip is starting to bleed. <laughs> this is one of my last ones though. And we're just gonna pop this on. This is like a corally sheer. Ooh, oh my God, I like this. This color is way more beautiful on than in the tube. Mm, it smells good too. Like bubble gum. This is definitely like for a little kid or something, but I like it. But honestly not, cause Lancome is not like really little kid cosmetics, but it smells like it. Literally smells like bubble gum. I like that. But to be honest, um, I try to not use fragrance in my products. I know like definitely in the drugstore, you are going to get products that have fragrance in it. That can be like irritating to your skin and I'm trying to be more careful with it. I don't know, I just feel like when you're paying so much money, you don't necessarily want it to irritate your skin. I'm not saying that this is gonna kill you, it's not. I'm just trying to look for things without fragrance, even though I really enjoyed putting that on and smelling that bubblegum fragrance, so. <laughs> it's like a catch-22, but I do really like this. Like, look at that bottle. Isn't that cute? And this is called um, Juicy Tubes, and I'm gonna swatch it on my arm as well. This was a little juicy. 
It's a little more sheer than the others, but it's nice. I like it. Oh, it's kind of like giving me like a little stinging sensation. But like, honestly, I've been like wiping my, my lips so many times, but that could be like a combination of my lips being super raw at this point and the right fragrance. The other ones didn't have fragrance, which, or like not noticeable fragrances. So like, actually, let me see. I can't really see that. I need like glasses, even though I don't need glasses. It's just cause I have my ring light on. All right. Now my last shade of the bunch is a red chiffon. And this is a beautiful red and really, really beautiful. There is no shimmers in this. I love this tube with the gold here. I just think that's so classy and it has the little flowers there. It's so cute. I just think you look expensive pulling this out of your bag. So that's just a win on its own. I don't know. It's something about lipsticks that like, just like elevate you. Like instead of a lip gloss, when you pull out a lipstick, I feel like, I feel like you just are elegant. Especially red lipstick, it's like, girl, who are you? I wanna know who you are. <laughs> okay, I'm being silly, but here we go. Here's the red. Ooh, that is, oh. That is stunning. I know I didn't do, do like the absolute best job, but that is flipping stunning. I love red lips. Like I am a sucker for red lips. I love Marilyn, Mar blah, blah, blah. I love Marilyn Monroe. I love old classic Hollywood. That is like totally my thing. Um, and this is super moisturizing and I just love it. I love the way it looks. And it kind of has like a glossy look to it. Like it's more moisturizing looking than like I don't know, like matte? I don't really like matte lipsticks. I don't know. Maybe I'll change my mind and I always change my mind. So maybe I'll like it better, but right now I'm not really digging the whole matte lipstick trend. But this red chiffon is beautiful and I'm gonna swatch it for you. This just like makes me feel like I'm on the old Hollywood movie screen. Yeah. And these are them all. And as you can see from the squat, squat, squatches, as you can see from the swatches, they're all very moisturizing. All these lipsticks are very, like, almost feel like a lip gloss, especially compared to today when everything is very, very matte. I personally like that, but if you're looking for something that's gonna stay on you all night long, this is not your answer. But if you're looking for something that's not gonna dry out your lips completely and they, they will look great like all night long, you just have to reapply, this is it. Because this, it'll definitely move and you'll definitely have to reapply, but it looks stunning when it's on. So it's like a catch 22, just like reapply when you go to the bathroom. Or I don't even care like if people see me reapply. Like I think that's so like classy to be there with your like, little compact and just do it, just do it. Do it for you. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me swatch all of these lipsticks. I don't even know how many did we do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I dropped one. I swatched 10 Lancome lip products and those are my honest thoughts of them. I really think they're beautiful. I really think they're nice. And I think you guys should give them a try. So. Let me know in the comments below what you think and which one is your favorite one of the bunch. And yeah, also remember to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I should have told you guys to do that earlier. I always forget. And if you guys don't know, I am a singer and songwriter and I'm gonna be coming out with new music this 2020, which I'm so excited about. But just to hold you over, I have an album out already and it's called Carolyn Marie, after me, that's my name and it has 10 songs on it. You can get on Apple Music, on Spotify, on iTunes. You can Shazam it. It's literally everywhere, so go check it out. I also have pop sockets and t-shirts for sale on my website at www.carolynmariemusic.com. You can also get a hard copy of it there. And yeah, I have like so much fun stuff going on. I can't wait to update you guys. I haven't made my 2020 update video yet because there's some things that are still in the works and are being planned out. So I don't want to say anything until I'm 100% sure they're going through, but I'm really excited for everything that's happening. 
And thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Make sure you subscribe. That means the world to me and it helps YouTube to help other people to watch the video too. So that's really helpful for my channel. So do that. And yeah, guys, thank you so much. I will see you in my next video.